Hey guys, this is Billy from AdultCello.com and today I want to share a five minute shifting exercise that I made for you. So what I'm going to do in a minute here is put five minutes on the timer and do a demonstration of the exercise, but I've also made it a downloadable PDF that you can access by just clicking the link in the description. So the specific exercise that I made, the five minute one for today, is between first position and fourth position. Okay, shifting between those two positions only. Keep in mind, you could do the pattern I'm about to do, you could do it between any two positions and it'll work wonders, okay? This exercise would be great for, you know, just a daily warm up to, to get comfortable with the fingerboard or especially if you're working on a piece and let's say there's a lot of shifts between first and fourth position and those shifts tend to feel more of an adventure than you'd like them to feel, <laughs> this would be the perfect exercise for you. So what we're gonna do, we'll start in first position with first finger on B and we're gonna shift to every finger of fourth position. So one, 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 two, one, three, et cetera. And then we'll move on to second finger, okay? Um, what this is gonna do is I really want you to start thinking of your shifting in terms of hand position, okay? This was like a major light bulb movement. What I want you to think about is shifting from hand position to hand position and not like most people do uh, early on in their journey, they think of like, okay, I'm going first finger all the way to second finger and there. It's kind of like each finger combination is its own shift. And so you end up with like 16 different shifts and feelings between first and fourth position when it should just be this hand position, this hand position. Okay. So that's the first thing we're trying to do. And second, as you might imagine, we would like to shoot for a legato sound with a, a you know, a rich, beautiful cello sound the whole time. So let's go ahead and put five minutes on the clock. All right, there we go. And uh, this can be done. I, I put a metronome of 60 to 80 for the quarter notes. We'll do go ahead and just do 70 to, you know, to just kind of split the difference. And keep in mind, you can do it faster or slower, whatever works for you. Okay, so I'll put the metronome on. And let's get started. Here we go. Separate bows first time. Ready, and... Excellent. Okay, now for adult learners, it can feel awkward to, you know, this gets nice and comfortable and then all of a sudden you add slurs and that feels totally different. So now what we'll do is the exact same set of variations but slurring two notes at a time. Okay? Ready and... <laughs> So that hopefully feels a little bit different maybe, but not worse, okay? Um, now, what, uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and start in fourth position now and go backwards to first position. That's something I totally would have not done back in the day. And so I got really comfortable moving this way, you know, higher in pitch in my shifts, but shifting backwards can be awkward too, so let's cover that, okay? So we'll start with separate bows, first finger, and then we're gonna shift to every subsequent finger in first position. And again, if this 
because it seems like I'm going lightning speed, just download the PDF, it's very clear, the sheet music. All right, here we go. Ready, and... <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do the slurs okay so here we go ready and minutes I give you an extra 15 seconds and <laughs> it's actually it's like the lizard with two eyes I was like trying to time it perfectly but basically a five minute exercise okay so two things to take away from this first off is like I said you're going for the hand positions so you want a rich beautiful sound and really focusing on shifting from one hand position to the between two hand positions and then dropping the appropriate finger so it doesn't feel like a bunch of different types of shifts okay and then secondly for adult learners. This is the perfect time to check in with like your neck, for example, and check to see if you're tensing your neck up every time you do a shift. This exercise would be a perfect opportunity to start reprogramming that kind of uh, reaction that we have to say like, okay, I'm gonna actually let go of my neck muscles when I do the shift, okay? So you can start building healthier habits while you do this exercise. There you go, please download it and enjoy it, and I will see you next week.